because we now know how the game is going to restart with a 22 dropout and not with a scrum. It's Mexican weather, so maybe an appropriate day for a Mexican wave, although we're not fans, are we? I've never seen a Mexican wave in Tijuana. <laughs> not that I've been there that often. Our forward. Your hands, boys. Fiat. Bolivarina. August. There's BT. Donald. Release. Rather feel the crowd not concentrating. Just getting unhappy with those who refuse to join in and want to concentrate. It's terrible, the... isn't it, how those that want to watch the rugby get the wrath of the crowd. I'm with the killjoys. Yeah, not just for the Mexican way, either. There's Joubert. Fiol. More well, regular response now from the England supporters. And the chorus of swing low. Trying to push their side on to really stretch their legs. Maybe have that half century in sight. But the Barbarians have dug deep there. That's a pretty committed effort. And they've got a penalty for their reward. Well, John Kerwin said they would definitely play with a great deal more commitment than we saw against Australia before Christmas. And they've lived up to their word. It hasn't been one of the more dazzling Barbarian performances. But they are rolling up their sleeves and they're not giving up here. They are taking their time. John Kerwin said we had a couple of boozy sessions together at the start of the week, but then we've had some really good knockouts in terms of preparation. So he thought they were in a position to really make England work. And, and he, he promised a workout at the very least. And they have given England that. Man alongside him there is Grant Dury. He's been with Kerwin, with Japan and Italy, his right-hand man. And a penalty. John Kerwin said, I mean, it's where you can go to war with Dury and go to war here. For the Barbarians is Mike Tindall. Tindall. And he scored at Twickenham against England. And when he's run that off, he'll have time to reflect on something a little bit different, a little bit special for him. <laughs> England's most capped centre, seven times captain of his country, playing against his country for the first time, and here it was Tyndall with a quick tap, and Tyndall with the try. And there, there's the irony, one of England's great modern-day defenders scores a try against England. It hasn't been the great part of his game in the last five years, but as he stretches a bit of summary cramp off, Tyndall will enjoy that. He's stopped opponents so many times when he's worn the white of England, and now he's smashed through the white defensive wall. And Stephen Donald with a conversion. 